hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel it's a new year and i've got new polishes to unbox from the holiday season disclaimer i did order these during black friday and i got this package even before i did those 14 days of christmas surprises with the olive and june 25 days of vanity magic um so my nails have grown a bit since i did this unboxing video so I got four polishes from 10 over 10. Greenwich? Greenwich? Greenwich. Greenwich. Okay, wait. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but I keep saying it. What is that? Like an Irish accent? Greenwich. I have no idea what's wrong with me. Next is Anne. This one is Dover, which I'm so excited to use. And finally, Eldridge. There it is again. Okay, I can't. Someone has to stop this. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> so these are the four polishes. Now I'm gonna start with the swatches. First up, Greenwich. I got it. <laughs> I really like the metallic look of this color when I saw it online, and that's what made me want to get it. So as I'm applying it, it's literally making me think of like liquid silver. You know, in those movies when metal is being melted down to make swords yeah that's what this looks like to me here's what the first coat is looking like now i'm gonna apply the second coat i'm excited to see how i can use this color in a nail design or even how it look by itself you know like maybe it just accessorized with a cute outfit or something and for some reason the spice girls is coming to mind hmm this is how the second coat of Greenwich is looking. It's a very nice metallic silver. But let's see how these top coats look. So there's definitely more glossiness to the shiny top coat, but the ones with the matte finish still have some good light reflection. I don't know. Both these finishes are very nice. On to the next color, Dover. Now, the website describes it as a whispered gray, but my eyes are telling me that this color is in the green family. I'm going to apply the first coat, and maybe I'll understand the color a little better after. First coat of Dover. I love this color. I can see how the lighting kind of changes it. And the more I stare at my nails, the less green it looks. So I definitely understand this whispered gray description, but I'd still say there's more than just gray to this color. I just can't figure out how to describe it myself. Onto the second coat now. So as I've said before, I really like finding and using nail polishes and products overall that are good for my body, which is why I try to buy brands that promote more healthy and clean beauty. And I do think that 10 over 10 is one of these brands. You can read up about them on their About Us page, which starts with the whole idea of conscious beauty. And I really agree with that idea. Um, I think the concept of conscious living, even outside of just beauty routines, it's so important, you know, like I only have one body and one life and I want to do my best to take care of it. So I'm glad that this is the mentality that's a part of their creation process when they're making their polishes or, you know, just their skincare products. And here's the second coat of Dover. I'm still seeing hints of green, but that gray is for sure coming through. Now I'm gonna apply the top coats. Wow. Both of these finishes are really, really nice. I don't know, like I love them both. This is a tough choice. It's a hard one. There's two colors left, Anne and Eldridge. Oh god, Eldridge. El- 
I want to come out. L Dredge. Let's get going with Anne. So I got this color because I loved the sheer look to it. I thought it would be great to have a polish like this on hand to try some designs that can be layered with the help of a sheer coat, um, but also maybe as the base color for when doing a French manicure. This is one coat, almost like a shiny base coat, but there's definitely more than a clear layer. The slightest, like oh so slight milky appearance almost. But let's put a second coat on and see how that changes. By the way, if you were wondering, 10 over 10, their polishes are eight free. Um, that was also on their About Us page they're eat free as well as cruelty free and vegan i mean it'll, it also tells you that underneath each polish <laughs> when you're shopping for the colors yes this this is two coats of anne amazing just like i thought this would be great for doing a french manicure this would also be nice just to have on my nails if, if I don't want to do some intricate design and just have a clean, simple look. I love it. All right, now let's get these top coats on. Whoa. I love it. Wow. I don't, like, it's... I don't know what to say. This is extremely pretty. I would choose either finish. All right, last color, Eldridge. There we go, I did it. <laughs> this is another, it just sounds so much better. I'm so sorry, I had to cut myself off. Eldridge, like how can I say it any other way? Like what, what? This is another sheer type polish. The website describes it as a sheer watermelon pink enhancer that imparts instant radiance. The glow getter. I believe every word of that description. I'm so excited to see what this color can do. So here's the first coat. Kind of like Anne's first coat. Almost like it's not there, but let's keep going. Two coats of Eldridge. I definitely went up. Okay, I'm so sorry. It's so weird. It's so weird just saying Eldridge, but I overcame the urge and it's just small wins. You know, they say you gotta celebrate small wins, and that's, that's what we're doing. Now let's compare the top coats. Wow, both the glossy and matte finishes are such flattering looks. Wow, I mean, I think I'm leaning more towards the matte finish just because it really has such a cool look to it. But both of these finishes definitely do the job. It's giving me SpongeBob jellyfish jelly vibes and I'm here for it. This is such a beautiful polish. Okay, that was all four polishes that I got from 10 over 10. I love these colors and it was it was fun applying them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you were thinking of getting these colors or any other colors from 10 over 10, hopefully this helped you make that decision to try them out. I cannot wait to come up with some nail designs using these colors. Be on the lookout. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next week.